Hello, it's Uncle Bob. I'm here with my new drone flying buddy, Chris. He's looking into possibly purchasing a Mavic 3 Classic or a Mini 3 Pro. So what we're doing is, is um, he's gonna try out both my Mavic 3 and, and my Mini 3 and see which one he likes better. So welcome Chris to my channel. Thank you, and, thank you for having me. And Chris, you have a channel, YouTube channel? I do. Um, I can uh, call it Chris Hume Drone Flying, and uh, it's it's. I'm the other drone pilot up here in the Sunland Tahunga area. Excellent. So yeah. So once he gets his channel, I'll let you guys know, and hopefully we can get him subscribers and get him out here flying more. You so, bet. So thanks, guys, and cheers. And I'm handing the controller over to Chris, and let him have fun with the Mavic Three. It's more than 400 feet high. You can fly 400 feet above that building and yes. within a 400 foot radius of the building. Yeah. But man, we've got, we have got awesome mountains up here to fly around in. Okay. Okay. Today's next thing is I want to pair my Mini 3 Pro to my, my uh, Pro controller here. So there's kind of steps to do this correctly. All right. First, the next thing is go to your cell phone. I've already paired my cell phone with this controller. And turn on your personal hotspot, like so. Okay, so now my controller will talk to my phone's hotspot, which will, if it needs to download something. Now, it's gonna be a little hard to see, but we'll try to get this done. So I'm gonna power it on. And start the DJI Fly app. And I'm going to go to the connection guide. And I'm going to go to, there's your Mavic 3 yeah. Classic. Oh, you just showed there's the menu. A, there's a Mini 3 Pro. I'm going to click on that. And it says firmware version inconsistent, update firmware. So I say continue. It says approximately one minute to update the firmware and that's why it's always good to turn on your on your you know the pair firmware updated relink the device so now you get your drone and you just you get your drone hold down this button until you hear it beeping there we go and it like so it's doing this number with the thing so now we're going to pair this baby. On the drone? No, no. Okay, so now when you change this controller over to different drones, you have to repair the drone to the controller. Right, so that was what you just did? Yeah, so right now it's... Now I'm just making sure all the bindings set up okay. Another reason you need your internet connectivity. You don't you don't really have to do this this binding. It's really not the only thing good, the reason I do it is because if you bind the drone to the controller and then you go through the steps that you know make sure it's it shows it to DJI. That way if you crash it and you've got insurance for the drone, they'll take care of it. Oh I see that that's one of their contingencies. Yeah, yeah. So binding after pairing. Yeah, binding after pairing. So now the drone, make sure, yep, it's ready to go. So come on over, Chris. <clears throat> the controller's all yours. Same down down sticks for takeoff on this one? To the left. Like this? No, that's, that's kill it. Down and away. Like, so like no, four o'clock like, no, and no, in. No, like this. Oh, okay, so it's down and in. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Out, out and, out and out. Just say check complete. Okay, there we go. Make sure it says home point. Home point updated. Perfect, okay. All right, have fun. Take it for a walk about the park or a flight around the park. What's the range on this? I mean, you know, I've never, I've never tried that. The Will range. it get to the golf course okay? Oh God, yes. So go ahead, take her I'll around. Keep it, I'll keep it like, 
200 feet. Yeah, just yeah, keep her that low. That way I can get to the golf course without a problem. Yeah. Yeah, go buzz a golfer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's just a joke, guys. This one, this drone, the Mini 3, does not have, uh, does not have uh, smart return to home. That's another thing. Smart return to home is that the, the software figures out the fastest way to get your drone back. Oh, okay. It just does straight line. A so. straight line. Yeah. Well, what would what would be different from a straight line? Like if there's a skyscraper in the way, or a mountain, or well, something. Oh, I mean, like if. Oh, I see. So what straight line means if there's something that's in its altitude range, yeah. would it hit the mountain, or does it have? Does it go up to a height? You have to set a height arbitrarily for it to to um, go over obstacles if it does a straight line return. It's kind of not good. Come on, cancel. All right, guys, that's it for our fun today. Cheers. Stay.